Hi YouTube, Timothy Unkert here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT, Vim, and Pandoc to really speed up my workflow. First though, if you haven't liked and subscribed and hit the bell for notifications, please do so. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is, I'm a math teacher, I want to create a math worksheet with ChatGPT. So I've been working on cubic polynomials with my students, where if they have one zero, they can find the other zero. So I'm going to instruct ChatGPT. I'm going to say, make me a 10 problem worksheet where students are given a cubic polynomial uh, and one zero for the polynomial and must and they must find the other two zeros. The other two zeros, okay? So now I'm gonna hit enter and I'm gonna let that run through. Now, here's one warning to teachers. I did do this yesterday and I found out ChatGPT was only about 80% accurate. I did have to change two out of the 10, uh, the equations, because the zero they gave me was not correct. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this, okay? And I'm going to open up my terminal here and I'm going to clear this all out and I'm just going to type vim and then the file name. So cubic-polynomials.md for markdown. Okay, so now I'm going to do control V to paste in uh, all the stuff that ChatGPT gave me. And I'm going to do dd to delete this bottom line. It was a note to me, not the students. And then gg to go to the top. I'm going to delete the line where it says, certainly here's a worksheet with 10 problems. So I'm going to go DD. I'm going to go I to go into insert mode, type the name, and then space down, type the date. Okay, and then now we look at this document. It's kind of formatted with LaTeX a little bit, but I want to get rid of this slash and the parentheses. So you could go one by one and delete these, but that's really, really slow. So I'm going to do the fast way. So I'm going to hit escape to go into normal mode. And now what I'm going to do is type Q to start recording a macro. And we're going to record it on a particular letter. So I'm going to pick W. You can pick whatever you want. So it says at the bottom, recording at W. And then I'm going to hit the slash under the question mark. So I'm going to search for this first slash here. And I'm going to do a slash to escape and another slash. So this is the other slash besides the one under the question mark. I'm going to hit enter to move to that first one. You'll see my cursor has moved to this here. And then I'm going to type 2x, and that's going to delete the uh, slash and the parentheses. I'm now going to stop the macro, so I'm going to hit Q. So my macro is recorded. Now I know there's less than 100 of these in the document. So I'm going to run 100 macros, so it runs through and it's still looking for more at the end, so it gets rid of all of them. So I'm going to type 100 then at W, and it's gonna go through my document and strip everything out, okay? I'm gonna go back to the top of the document with GG, and now what I wanna do is I wanna take this little caret here, and I want to instead make it a superscript tag before and after the exponent. So I'm gonna do another macro. So I'm gonna do Q, and then I'm gonna pick the same letter because I'm just gonna overwrite the macro. You could pick a different one. So I'm going to do W, so it's recording at W. Do the slash under the question mark to search. The other slash to escape a special character, which the little caret is. And then a shift and a six to get that special character. Hit enter. It's going to go find the character. I'm going to type X to get rid of the caret. I to insert. And I'm going to type the opening superscript tag. Hit escape to go to normal mode. L to move over one. A lowercase a, to get back into insert mode after the exponent. Then I'm going to close the tag. Then I'm going to hit Q to stop. Well, first I'm going to hit escape, then Q to stop the macro. Okay? So I know there's less than 100 of these, but I'm going to just use 100 again so I can run through and strip them all out. So I'm going to do 100 at W. That's going to run through my document and uh, make those all surrounded by superscript tags. Okay, at this point, I think I'm ready to go with my markdown file. So I'm gonna do colon WQ to uh, quit, or write and quit. 
And now I'm going to use Pandoc to change this to an HTML file. Now you could use Pandoc and PTF, PDF LaTeX to convert this right to a PDF, but I don't particularly like the formatting. So what I do is I create an HTML file and then I use some style tags to format. I'll show you that in a moment. So I'm going to convert this to HTML by typing Pandoc and then the name of the file. I'm going to start to type it and hit tab to autocomplete. Dash O. I'm going to start to type the name of the file, hit tab to autocomplete, and just change the extension to .html and hit enter. Okay, so Pandoc has gone ahead and converted it to HTML. So now I'm going to do vim and type qubit onomials.html. Open that shift O to put some style tags above. So now I'm going to insert some style tags and I'm going to just target the body and just make the margin zero top and bottom and then a half inch to the left and right. And then I'm going to close my style tag, uh, escape and then colon WQ to write and quit. Okay, so now I'm done with that. And I can go to my file explorer, go to my documents, go to Red Canyon High School dash worksheets. Uh, then open the cubic polynomials file. Here it is. And now I can print this. I can go to print. And I can print to PDF. Now I could put some more spacing between the paragraphs um, if I wanted to. But um, just for the purposes of this, I'm just going to keep the style to the body tag. But again, you could put parentheses, margin bottom, you know, maybe 100 pixels. Okay, so one thing, I can go to more settings. If you do have the headers and footers checked, you want to uncheck that because that'll give that little uh, address, this address here, you don't want that. So just uncheck that, then I'm going to do print, and I'm going to save it to a particular folder, in this case, my documents. So I'm going to do cubic polynomials, and that's going to be .pdf, okay? So now, if I go to that folder, I see you have this PDF file, cubic polynomials, and there I go, I've got my worksheet. All completed, um, and this is me explaining it to you, probably takes me less than five minutes to do this. After that, I'll print out the worksheet and then go through and check it, and then I might have to make some errors. I go back into the original Vim uh, HTML file that I created, make those changes, and then uh, reprint it with the browser, and then we're good to go. Hopefully you found this video interesting. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.